Hey guys, so this is my review for Ant-Man number 3 And I, This is a little late, well obviously a lot late though Like on issue number 6 already or number 5 And I'm barely doing this, but whatever Anyways It was a pretty good issue uh, It starts off with Erika Sondheim being held hostage by two thugs And They Tell her they want something from her, but they don't make it specific or clear then some guy enters and says that they need her expertise because she's like a surgeon and a like one of the best doctors. And we don't really find out what they want until the end specifically, but we'll get there. Uh, one of the second things that happened is Ant-Man now has his own security company. It's up and running. And one of the first jobs he has is protecting a warehouse of paper clips, which is kind of a running gag for a bit. They're like, all right, so... We all gotta start somewhere, you know, maybe not be the best thing, kind of embarrassing, but oh well, you know. Uh, and then, after this, uh, we see that his ex-wife finds out that he has no plans of le leaving Miami at all. Which she only thought he was there to visit the daughter like every once in a while, but now she knows he's starting his own business and he, yeah, he has no intention of leaving anytime soon and it kind of shows how she takes it, uh, they have problems once again, you know, it's like, you can tell they love each other, but they know the hell out of each other as, at the same time, but it's a really cool dynamic to have in between those two characters. Uh, um, next thing that happened is, Ant-Man goes back to his security, or to the warehouse for the paper clips, and all of his security devices turn against him. Like all the lasers and all his devices he has there. And uh, he kind of starts wondering like what's going on here. I thought I had everything under control. But it turns out Taskmaster actually had kind of messed with everything. And he's kind of behind why everything. He's behind the whole paperclip warehouse factory. He kind of set up the order and he's like hey. I need you to protect, protect this and that. It was all a setup. So that explains why he was protecting the warehouse full of paperclips. It was kind of sketchy to begin with. But, after this, uh, it's kind of a funny fight, actually. Uh, cause Ant-Man's kind of like, oh, Taskmaster, my arch nemesis. And Taskmaster's like, whoa, hey, you think I'm your arch nemesis? And he just kind of laughs it off and makes Ant-Man feel bad. He's like, and Ant-Man's like, well, aren't you? You're always there. Like, I'm always fighting you and you're always fighting me. Which Taskmaster replies to, no. I'm there to fight the Avengers or other people. You just kind of happen to get in my way, kind of like a pest. And you know, it ends with him being like, Hey, please, like, don't tell other people that I'm your arch nemesis here. I have, like, a reputation to protect. I don't need that. Like, it'd be a huge favor, man. I... That's kind of embarrassing. And you just kind of feel bad for Ant-Man a little bit. Scott Lang, I'm like, aw. Well, that, you know, that sucks. Thinking you have this arch nemesis and you're just kind of like... I guess a bug, technically, fits the name. Uh, well, one of the things we find out is why Taskmaster actually had rigged the whole thing. Is that there's this app, this like super villain app, I guess, which is really handy. That they put up hit list. Uh, and you kind of like, just take the job if you want it, I guess. And this whole thing was set up by the Cross Company. Like they had set a hit on Scott Lang, Ant-Man. And you kind of wonder, well, this guy has been dead for how long? I mean, you know, how did he do it? But then in the final issue, it connects back to the first few panels with Erica Sondheim. They were actually holding her hostage because they wanted her to fix the dad cross. Because it's the son that wants to bring the dad back to life, I guess, and like fix him up so... He can be up and running and, I guess, kind of alive, in other words. But, yeah, that's pretty much all that happened in the comic. Uh, it was a really entertaining issue again. Uh, I really like what the writer is doing with it. Uh, it's not like a too serious, it's more of a just for comedic and enjoyment purposes, which I really like. Compared to the whole thing that's kind of happening right now with the whole... Secret Wars event and how complex that is. It was nice to have just kind of a simple issue to read But yeah, uh, I'd say I'd probably give this issue uh, 
8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Let me, if you've read this issue, uh, let me know what you thought about it and put it in the comments below.